Check out these photos from the Philippine Star in Tacloban from what is suspected to be a tornado that hit overnight there. and Some pretty decent damage taking place. And you might be thinking, it's the tropics. Do you really get tornadoes here? And, and we do, especially when we get things like a shear line setting up, which was exactly what we have out here. And actually, you can see it here on infrared satellite imagery. There's our cloud cover that moved overhead, that thunderstorm that blew up really quick, produced that likely tornado there. But look back towards the east. You have that sun otherly flow of cloud covers and towards the west upper level clouds. It's what we call shear. A change in the winds aloft. It thus you get rotation when you get a bit of shear and watch it right there. It goes overhead and it brought that damage out there into Taklaban. So yeah, it does happen from time to time. And the leading edge of these cold surges, this is one reason why we do call them shear lines, because sometimes they do kick up some pretty potent thunderstorms. They can be quick and gone. Uh, unlike tropical systems, which linger over a long period of time. So thank you very much for everyone sharing those photos. Incredible stuff out there. All right, here's a tropical wave towards the south and east of Guam. And I'm sure that's the thing a lot of people are very curious about. And then you have your cold surge and your shear line back towards the east, which is just still dominating out here in the Philippines. Look at that along that shear line, though. You got all those showers kicking up, up along it. Uh, overall, though, that tropical wave is going to move towards the west over the course of the upcoming week. And later this week and the early next week, this is the area to watch. Basically south of Guam, maybe even out here into the Philippine Sea. From Bagasa, they actually have stated there's a low pressure area for a potential from the 12th into the 18th as well. Now I'm using a lot of possible, a lot of watch, a lot of potential phrases here. Nothing, I'm not at all in this video saying there will be a tropical system hitting the Philippines Guam or anywhere in between. I want to make that clear, but this is a first look. And I'm going to show you some of the guidance and some of the reasons why we're looking at this for the possibility of a tropical system. Now, first and foremost, you have to watch this area out here. Right now, it is a loose area of convection, and models really are not going to get more concrete until we get a defined center of circulation basically good data in good data out and right now the models are running off a hypothetical storm that it's spinning up based on everything it's seeing right now so maybe nothing might spin up i doubt that i think something will but there's the potential all right so this is scenario based on the current setup right now as i mentioned there's that high pressure that cold surge hitting luzon and brought that shear line and the damage out there in late day you just saw well, that high pressure, if anything develops south of that, is going to keep it on a westerly projection because storm systems don't want to run through a high. But there is that trough back towards the east, the cold front that kicked off that high moving towards the south, and that would pull our storm closer to Guam. It all depends on where it forms and what about the time is and when that trough, where that trough is when it passes on by. But for example, the European model actually pulls the storm closer to the Philippines. This is a model. This is an ensemble outlook from the Euro. And then I'll show you the winds from the GFS. Shows more of that trough coming on by right there. And it pulls it off towards the north, towards Guam and the Mariana Islands. Big difference here. Really all depends on the timing of that trough, our high pressure area, and where exactly this would form up down towards the south. So there's, there's just a lot of questions here. So the main point, still lots of time to watch, uh, need the development of a low pressure area coming in out of the tropical convergence zone and storms this time of year are not unheard of. A few people said they never happen in the dry season in the Philippines. We had super typhoon Mossack on this date six years ago. It was a super typhoon. You don't, don't get in that mode that says I, it never happens. The, there's a reason why there is no end to the tropical season in the Western Pacific. All right. Also, I have been watching this area out here towards our south, and uh, it has been bringing some heavy rainfall across uh, Timor and East Timor. Actually, some very, very serious flooding has been taking place across this area. So definitely very, very serious as we look ahead through the next few days. It is going to track towards the west and southwest, but boy, they have been getting some uh, widespread flooding casualties over a dozen of them and still got that rainfall warning out here into Indonesia as well. So I just want to touch on that. Um, I'm not following it terribly enough as I should. So 
I'm not going to get too in depth with that. All right, thank you very much for everybody on Patreon who has been helping out with these updates. Uh, the more people that help, the more videos I can make, and I can touch on tropical systems all over the place. Right now, it's it's just tough. But I want to thank everybody from typhoons to super typhoons. A uh, tropical depression, two dollars. Typhoon, six dollars. Super typhoon, ten dollars a month. Uh, it helps, and I got a graphic package lined up, and I got a good work order in actually i probably will be able to afford the package i just need the hardware which does cost money because you can't just run these graphic packages on your standard hp laptop or a macbook or anything like that you need something a bit heavier so whew, trying to save up the money from those patreon accounts to get this and that's my big goal right now so please subscribe check out that patreon if you want to help us get these videos better especially with typhoon season coming up i can't even imagine the possibilities that we would be able to do together in making these updates so hey find me on twitter facebook instagram and also i do post on tiktok from time to time first and foremost though thanks for watching and as always stay safe out there